Charles. All right. It will no doubt again be one of the highest profile races in the country. The race for the U.S. Senate seat currently held by Democrat Mark Kelly. The highest profile Republican candidate yet enters the race yesterday. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich announcing his run late yesterday afternoon. He joins businessman Jim Lehman and Major General Michael McGuire and looking to be the Republican nominee in the race. Good to see you, uh, Mr. Attorney General. A couple of publications already have you as the front runner on the Republican side. And, and let's, let's get right into this if we can. Uh, you've been very public about being the son of immigrants. We've both been in the state a long time. I've, I've seen some very smart people say they're going to fix immigration problems here. Specifically, what would you do if you were sitting in Mark Kelly's Senate seat to fix our immigration problem right now? Well, the first thing we need to do is enforce existing laws, Troy. As you know, I've got three lawsuits against the Biden administration. And what they've done is they've decriminalized and incentivized people coming here. So in the Biden administration, there's 1.2 million people, deportation orders. They refuse to deport them. We're having criminals, literally people with criminal records being released into our communities. That's endangering us. The cartels are making money. So the first thing you have to do is enforce existing law. Second thing you have to do is you're, you can't subsidize it. We know the Biden administration is going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on Central American countries, and they're spending dozens of millions of dollars on hotels here in Arizona to house immigrants. That's creating incentives for people to come here. So you have to get rid of the incentives. And we can't do anything long-term-wise. We do have to address this immigration issue, but you can't do anything long-term-wise until you secure the border because it's a law enforcement priority and it's a national security issue as well. So you're one of 100 people who would be working on this, and half the people are close to them are going to be against you on it. How, how do you make headway as one person in the U.S. Senate? Well, Barry Goldwater used to famously say, my political hero, that people can disagree without being disagreeable. And I think as Americans, we have a lot of things in common. And when I was thinking about running for the Senate, um, I, I didn't want to almost because of all the divisiveness and the partisanship. But I think you know, Troy, that I have a record of working across the aisle, whether it's criminal justice reform issues, whether it's protecting Arizona consumers, record amounts going after the human traffickers, standing up for the rule of law. And I think that when you're principled and you do the right thing in the right way, it'll work out. And eventually, I think that Republicans, Democrats need to get together and say, okay, let's secure the border. Once we secure the border, then we can talk long-term wise about what we can do to make sure that we still have people coming into this country that want to be productive and live the American dream. You were talking about divisiveness. Uh, former President Trump has criticized you a bit that you weren't basically behind this audit uh, the way you should be. What do you think about the auditing of the votes that were cast in Maricopa County? Are you behind that? And do you think you need President Trump's approval to win this race? Look, I think that when voters, whether they're Republicans, Democrats or independents, when they realize the issues that we've taken on, that I've been a principled Arizona Arizona, and that they, they understand that I'm going to do the right thing in the right way. And even when you disagree with me, you understand the reasons why I'm doing it. And we have a consistent philosophy. It's not driven by polls or what this person says or that person says. I'm going to do what's right for Arizona. Reality is, Troy, I've actually talked to a lot of people, including President Trump. We had a good conversation. And at the end of the day, though, my job as a U.S. Senator is going to be to represent Arizona and do everything I can to push back against high taxes, high regulation, the federalization of our election process. And if you look at what we've done on election integrity, I mean, all you got to do is Google Brnovich v. Democratic National Committee. When other elected officials wouldn't step up, when the Democrats and the liberal groups tried to undermine our integrity measures, I did. I literally the, argued at the U.S. Supreme Court. The case is named after me because I stepped in. And so I have a proven and consistent record making sure I'm enforcing the rule of law and upholding election integrity measures. Mr. Attorney General, good luck to you going forward in your race. I'm sure we'll talk more over the next uh, year and a half. Thanks for being on this morning. Appreciate it.